to the Gamble Ramble. It's your old pal Archie Gamble here. And uh, this ramble is just a little, um, what'd you call it? Unboxing, unveiling kind of a deal with the new little acoustic drum kit that I put together for um, smaller, quieter gigs. And uh, as I've mentioned in previous posts before, I find a real change in the music scene locally, and then I have been able to pick up more and more acoustic based and uh, quieter duo and trio type gigs. So I put together something that sounds good and travels well and lightly, period. So here I'll be, uh, you know, unboxing slash setting up different components of the kit, period. The hardware is uh, uh, the Yamaha Crosstown lightweight hardware that uh, Ryan Hamilton and Sean Brown at Yamaha Canada Music were kind enough to help me out with. Uh, some An artist deal. Thank you guys for that. As a former Yamaha artist, it's truly appreciated. The drums themselves are, are a Tama uh, Club Jam Pancake shell kit. And as I mentioned, I am a Dixon Drums and artist. I do enjoy sticks and drums, but I wasn't able to get um, a kit ready in time for some of the gigs I have coming up this winter. And the symbols are, of course, Sabian. Again, shout out uh, to everyone at Sabian for for all their continued support of nearly 30 years. And I reheaded the kit with uh, Remo Heads, and thanks to Scott Atkins of Remo, Remo Canada. And, of course, you know, um, you know my standard standbys, my my beautiful uh, headhunter sticks and uh, and um, brush sticks also are part of the package. And uh, to be clear too, I did use some Dixon hardware on this kit. Beautiful, my beautiful Dixon uh, smooth uh, kick drum pedal thrown, some clamps and attachments. So overall I, I really like this little kit and I'd like you to check it out if you're interested in drum gear and drum geekery. Uh... Just off the cuff, kind of spontaneous day at uh, London uh, Digital Media Arts Centre. And again, thanks to Mario Sicelli for his continued support and the use of the room that day. And, you know, it's not a great production of uh, epic proportions. It's just me filming myself unboxing and setting up some stuff. So if you're a drum nerd like me, you might appreciate it. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and enjoy. Oh, and by the way, in a little aside, I did tune the snare drum batter and reso heads up a little tighter after the filming, and also uh, tightened up the snare wires a little bit, tweaked the kick drum sound a little. So I ultimately ended up with a better sound than is shown here. But this does give you an idea of the setup itself and uh, what you can expect if you ever decide to go this route. As you were. Bag, instructions, bubble wrap, which is always fun, and here we are, a single stand. Now, let's do the package, the hardware. Let me breathe like a locomotive. Now the hardware set, which features 
hi hat stand, snow stand, two stands. Also comes with instructions. And like the singular stand, a case, except that this case is a case for the entire hardware set. So here it is, I'm picking this up in one hand right now. And uh, very light. Mucho impresto. Hey y'all, we're down here at the Digital Creative Arts Center in the Boys and Girls Club in London, Ontario, in uh, the studio, the recording area that they have. I'm in one of the isolation booths right now. And uh, our, my good friend Mario Sicelli was nice enough to help me with some space to assemble my new um, miniature acoustic kit that I'm going to be using for a lot of my future dates. So I'm going to take the opportunity right now, while I have the chance, to show you the uh, Yamaha Crosstown hardware, lightweight hardware package that I received from Yamaha. And thanks again to Ryan Hamilton and Sean Brown for all of your assistance with that. Um, this is aluminum hardware and uh, it's very space age, lightweight. And this is a complete set of hardware right here. It's very light. Uh, Hi hat stand, snare stand, two cymbal stands, and I have an additional third stand that I ordered. So, I'm gonna check this stuff out. As you saw in an earlier clip, I uh, unboxed it at home, and it comes like this, in a carrying case, with um, instructions. And uh, right now, we're gonna open the carrying case for the first time, to see what's in here. You can do this with me. So here we have at the top, bags. There's individual bags for each piece of hardware so that if you don't want them to scratch each other, you can do so, you can use the bags. And, uh, and inside, of course, we have all the wrapped separate pieces here. This is really great. As I said, it comes with uh, this beautiful carrying case and the silicone packages which we must remind ourselves do not eat um, so yeah essentially as you can see the hi-hat stand right there and uh, stair stand here you can see the basket and two Yamaha straight stands I believe they might have a telescoping boom but I'm not really sure so what we're gonna do now is you know this wonderful case Another thing about this case that's really cool is that there's a little extra room in it. So I think Yamaha knows that, you know, if you want to put your, your throne in there and your kick pedal and any miscellaneous items, there's enough room in the case to do so. And as I said, I have an additional third stand here because I like the traditional setup of uh, ride, two crashes, and hats. So I'm going to get to setting it up and I'll check back with you in a bit. Okay popped up out of nowhere. So here we are, opening the first of the Yamaha Crosstown stand. This is the stand. stand. Got to take the bubble wrap off. Take the bubble wrap off your mind. Uh, here it is. Look at this beautiful, uh, what do you call that brush now? Aluminum. Hollow, but super strong, super light. Like, a great quality we've come to know from Yamaha. Cool basket. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed so far, man. I mean, this is for the kit, which has a 12 inch snare drum, so it's a bit smaller. And we're gonna hook that up now. And I'll check it out. Back again. Now we're going to open the straight stand. Simple stand, rather. See what they're all about. Again, made of the same material, exact same construction. Brushed aluminum, and uh, open the legs. Pretty good leg span. I've seen videos online where it's people push them down, way down, for more support. Which I will actually do with this one because it's going to be holding the mount for my first tom as well, to my immediate front center. So also here, what do we have? Look at you. So yeah, they're not a boom. There's no not a boom on them, the straight stands. But 
So there's two telescoping regions. So you gain some pretty good height on this thing. And uh, I'm pretty impressed already. So there you have it for the straight stand. And two more of those to go. And I'll check in with the hi-hat stand in a minute. Hello. Back with the hi-hat stand now. Now this packaging is a little more complex. Still bubble wrap, but uh, it's also got some cardboard in there for your protection. As I said, um, okay, well here's the top pipe and the, uh, the uh, rod and the clutch. And here's the bottom half. As you can see, there's a piece of Velcro to keep the, um, the, the foot pedal from flopping around in transit. And there's cardboard in there and plastic keep things from getting scratched. That's one thing I have to say about Yamaha. They're fantastic with the packaging. I would have them. And the mere fact that this comes with um, a case, a free carrying case, says a lot about the company too. So let's open the legs here and get her, get her set up. I'm gonna pop out of view for a second. Yeah, it's very solid. I mean, I cannot complain at all. And as I said, each, uh, we'll, we'll set up the pedal board here with this pie hat. But each stand comes with its own, um, uh, like a nylon bag, so that you can bag them individually and keep them from rubbing up against each other uh, in transit, scratching your beautiful um, brushed aluminum uh, finish on the stand. So that's pretty cool too. And here we have. As I said, top pipe, hi hat rod, felt, and clutch. Let's we'll put the rod on first, shall we? Put she then. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Here we are. Screw that bad boy in. I thought it was she fed. I gotta stop that. Here we put the top pipe in place. You guess the middle height here. Now, the one thing I will say that there's no locking mem uh, memory locking nuts that come with these. However, I see the point of that. You're trying to keep things as light as possible. So they take off the frivolous or what could be considered frivolous features. So there we go. There it is all together. It's a good looking stand. Nice action. We'll put her over here. And uh, in a couple of minutes, we'll put the symbols on and we'll test drive it. But so far, it looks pretty cool. Be back when the full kit's assembled. Okay, here we are with the Tama Club Jam pancake drums. I'm setting up the floor tom now as we speak. So basically, this comes with four floor tom, four tom legs. There's another one at home. Now these three are all the same size. There's another one, I believe that's longer in case you want to angle your drum uh, differently. Uh, that one's in storage, I'm not using it. But if you look there, pretty simple. There's brackets mounted right to the drum. And uh, yeah, basically put the leg in. If I remember last time I set up, we're pretty high and uh, equidistant. Um, the legs were of equidistant uh, height. That's the proper way to put it, I don't know. Anyway, off camera, but I'll show you. So basically that's what she looks like. Now we're on to the last piece of mounting hardware, which is the first Tom holder that comes with the Tema Club Gem pancake drums. That's the fast clamp. Now as you can see, I've got it attached to one of the lightweight stands here. And I gotta tell you, I'm impressed. It's sturdy as hell, uh, lightweight. That's fantastic. I can't wait to get the symbols on here and show you guys. But this is a really great setup if you're sick of lugging around all kinds of heavy gear. And uh, I am impressed so far. Check back in. And we're on to the last piece of mounting hardware, which is the first Tom holder that comes with the Tema 
Club Gem pancake drums. That's the fast clamp. Now, as you can see, I've got it attached to one of the lightweight stands here. And I gotta tell you, I'm impressed. It's sturdy as hell. Uh, lightweight. That's fantastic. I can't wait to get the cymbals on here and show you guys. But this is a really great setup if you're sick of lugging around all kinds of heavy gear. And uh, I am impressed so far. Check back in. Okay, here we are. So they're basically set up. None of the doodads on or any of the, uh, the extras like mounted tambourine and, you know, stuff like that. But here they are. Yeah, basically. Have a tour here. They have the kick drum. Put a kick port in there to give it a little more oomph. And we got the quick kick fix, rather, from British Drum Company that holds the uh, legs in place. My own carpet. The Yamaha stands. Beautiful Sabian XSR symbols. And we're loaded for bear. It's a good looking kit, isn't it? Look at that. And, ladies and gentlemen, I'm able to carry that entire thing into a gig in two hands, one trip. That's the key. Okay, here we are, set up. And uh, as you can see, very compact, very lightweight. Get the extra symbols, which are a little quieter, a little lighter, a little more of a fast uh, decay. Small size drums for, for uh, lesser volume and less equipment to carry. So ideal for, for smaller gigs or acoustic gigs. So let's check out the Tama Club Jam Pancake Series drum. This is the kick drum. If I had any complaint, it would be that the kick drum lacks a little bit of bottom end. But what can be, you know, it's only about eight inches or six inches deep, I think. So you can't really expect too much. I put a kick port in there. And from what I've read, they actually cut through live pretty good. And uh, they also mic up very well. So let's check out the snare, 12 inch snare drum. Uh, tom, 12, uh, 10 inch rack tom, 12 inch uh, floor tom, or, or sorry, I think it's a 13, the 13 inch sorry, floor tom, so here's the 10 inch tom. I like that, it's got that open contra tom kind of sound from the 70s. Here's the, uh, the uh, 13 inch floor tom, which has surprising depth. Uh, more so than the kick drum, actually, if you listen, though. So, yeah, I mean, you know, for a drum that's this deep, it's got a lot of bottom. So, we'll check out the cymbals here. We've got the uh, uh, XSR hi-hats. Line of symbols, but they're not reduced in sound. So what I've done here is that this set came with a 20 inch ride cymbal, 18 inch crash, 16 inch crash, 14 inch crash, and 14 inch has, and a splash. Because I'm trying for portability, I'm using the 18 inch fast crash as a ride, 16 inch fast crash to my right, and a 14 inch fast crash to my left. I think it's going to be the setup. I'll know after today, but. So basically, here is the XSR 18 inch, 18 inch fast crash being used as a ride and a crash. Nice bell. Nice wash. Now I've got that on there pretty tight. So here is the, uh, the 16 inch. It's got a faster decay than a typical 16 inch symbol. Here's the 14. 